Anyway, I decided to go with the Showertella T5. started on it last night and then it got pretty late so he went home so I'm gonna finish up so for snacks I have a protein drink I have an energy drink I have a Dr. Pepper a coke that were from last time and then I got some chocolate chip granola bars I got some cheese it grips yum delicious I also have some chocolate chip grips that rhymes. Fruit snacks. These little caramel squares and I think that's it. Yeah, so we're just gonna get right to it. Let's go. try this way. So when you plant beans, it doesn't have to be as smooth because the, uh, uh, well, heck. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Let's try this again. Beans are cut by the entirety of the head, but corn is shelled by the row, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like eight rows at a time, but only eight rows at a time. And that's it. But whenever you shell beans or whenever you cut beans, you could go like um, diagonal in the field, you can go backwards, sideways, up, down, you know, whatever you want to do. You can go in circles if you want to, but whenever you shell corn, you can't do that because they're all in a row, and the way that you're shelling it, you have to go by the rows. Does that make sense? Tell me if I'm being stupid. I'm also a little tired, and I just can't really think straight. So yeah, whenever you're planting corn, it's much more important to make sure that all of those seeds stay in the row, and they're not, like, bouncing off and going other places. 
So whenever your corn planter isn't riding smooth through the field, you risk the chance of those seeds. You know what I mean? I don't, guys, look. Uh, it's 4 p.m., 3 p.m., and I'm a little tired. I don't know why! Cheers. Wow, that is delicious. This is the Ghost uh, Sour Patch Kids Red Berry flavor. You guys, oh my gosh, this is so delicious. All right, new favorite. Now I really, I have to pee so bad. Uh, okay. Wow, I feel good. Well, it was interesting watching that unfold. Or fold. You get this put up, I'm gonna get the hydraulic hoses changed on that. All right. I was listening to a podcast while I was disking and it was very interesting. It's called Something Was Wrong. I think that's what it's called. But it was very interesting. It was about a guy who um, started dating this girl and he told her that he had cancer and that he was in witness protection and turns out he was lying about all of it and he was um, actually married. Um, that's just kind of like a quick rundown. There's a lot more to it, but it was very interesting, and um, you should listen to it. It's called Something Was Wrong. Yeah, we're gonna go to Walmart. Okay, so I just got back from Walmart. I forgot to record because I'm a nincompoop. Anyway, I decided to go with the Showertella T5 Synthetic Blend. 
for a number of reasons. Um, number one being the advanced additive technology helps with wear protection, deposits and cleanliness, helps prevent oil breakdown and overall just extends the life of your engine. And I've been using it in my trucks for a very long time and I really enjoy it. So you guys know the 5488 is one of our go-to tractors now. We want to take care of it just like all of our other equipment. This is what we'll be using. We only want the best of the best to make sure that we get the most out of our equipment. So I'm just going to offload all of this really quick and then we are going to head back down to the disc and get that cylinder all fixed up and ready to go and then take it to the next field so that I can get started tomorrow morning. Let's go! Anyway, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts linked down below and check out my merch at farmergrace.com and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.